Hello, y'all want a house tour? Here you go. Welcome to my crib. So when you get inside, you see this huge echoey <laughs> living room. This is gonna be the living room. We have so many great ideas for right here. Our TV, our couches. Oh, I can't wait to see all the memories we make. All of the walls down here have the shiplap, which I'm obsessed with. Totally different than our regular decor. And if you keep walking with me, you're gonna see the chandelier, which I love. I don't want to replace this at all. And we're gonna have our huge, long dinner table right here with the rug, everything I've ever wanted and more. Just a huge space that the kids can run, they can, not too fast, but that they can just enjoy and we don't feel like all oh, claustrophobic together. But if you walk right here, it's all the electrical. All the men things that men love. Let me show you outside. The nice thing about Florida is some houses, which we sell a lot of houses, but some houses have screened in porches. And our house has it. We have hurricane resistant doors. <laughs> so we can last through a hurricane. But we have this huge space that we're gonna be able to furnish and we're gonna have a long rug with a dining room table out here with a patio set. We have things to put a TV. So it's gonna be so nice just to lounge. You can actually see it right now. It's a field that the kids can play soccer in. They can just run. So we won't actually have to maintain a yard because our yard, is very different than in Texas. We're gonna have a little yard, but our kids can play out there and we can watch them and we can go out there and we're just gonna we're just gonna have a very quaint area for us to uh, hang out in. Now it does have oh they put a latch here. Oh nice. It does have steps down where we can let the dogs out. We're actually going to, the first purchase of this house is going to be a fence because we are going to want to make sure the dogs can stay in the fenced area, but we can always keep these doors open because it's a screened in porch. So you walk in here and you're about to, <laughs> oh, that was so smooth. You're gonna walk into our kitchen. When we were house shopping in Florida, I wanted to make sure I was not skipping on my kitchen because when you have four kids and you have a husband that loves to eat, you need to make sure you have enough room. And this kitchen, this kitchen is that. So you have your huge sink, water's on now. I cannot wait. We have our dishwasher. We have a huge, huge, what do you call this? A refrigerator. Yeah, but you call them like... Walk-in refrigerator. No, but it's huge. <laughs> it's like, this is one of our refrigerators right now. <laughs> and then we have a freezer. So this is gonna be able to hold all of our food. All of our food. The cabinets are high, which Louis and I are tall. And so this is perfect because I don't know, what the heck I'm gonna put up on all these cabinets. Where's the dog barking? Do they not know I'm vlogging our house tour? We have a microwave, which is super cool because how do we how do we do this way? Open. The kids are gonna be able to heat their own stuff up, just saying. And then close it. So cool. I'm so excited about that. And then gas range oven, which I did not want to skip on with the house here because some didn't have gas and with a big family. Now I have one for everyone. If I need to make mac and cheese, 
ramen noodles, <laughs> spaghetti, Mexican food. We just got it all. And I love the little detail you want to show them, Lewis. The little pop of gold is so cute. And then we have windows in here, lots of natural light, which I was like, was my number one because if I wanted to vlog during the night, I can flip literally every single light on and it looks like I'm filming during the day, right Liz? It does. Lots of counter space so I can line the kids up in a lot of bar stools. I just love how big this kitchen is. And then if you come over here, this is mommy and daddy's space. A nice machine. And then you have a little refrigerator for all of our beer, all of our wine, everything. I'm just so excited about this little area. I'm gonna make a coffee bar. And another thing I love about this kitchen is the exposed beam. I love the exposed beam. It just adds something to the white. So if you follow me over here, you have number one, our spice pantry. And you may think, okay, Nicole, that's a little small for a family of six. Just, if you need more space, you can just swap over here and you could go into my other pantry. And then you may say, Nicole, but what about the kids in the school and all the backpacks and all of their junk that they have? I got storage for that. All of this cabinet and hanger space. I already put my coat on it. We're gonna have so much room for all the activities that the kids are gonna do. That this is, over the kitchen, this is the second thing that sold me because I needed a lot of space for all of my kids. So I'm gonna love putting bins under here and making it the perfect area for the kids. Now over here, is going to be where the dogs have their crates and this is going to be the dog area and then if you come over here these are hurricane resistant doors so they're a little different i'm gonna have to have lewis open this <laughs> lewis is the pro at open <laughs> opening <laughs> This is our little mini porch. I don't know what we're gonna do here. What do you think, Lewis? I like it. This is where I like to accumulate all of my pine cones. <laughs> we have a lot of pine trees here, if you guys don't know. We have a lot of pines, so they fall, so we'll have to clean up. And then let me just give this back to my hubby. Now you have the washer and dryer room. This is where all the magic is going to happen because when you have a lot of kids, you have a lot of clothes. So we have a washer and a dryer and cabinet space for all of my laundry stuff <laughs> that I'm gonna have. And it has a little window so I can see outside to Lewis making his phone calls out there. So I love this laundry room. And now if you come over here, you have the guest bathroom. It's just a little guest bathroom. It has a really cute chandelier, and I love this accent of the black, where if we have guests over, they can just go to the bathroom in here, the kids have to go to the bathroom. Another thing about this house is we get a two-car garage. It is hard to come by with a two-car garage out here. Normally, you get a one-car garage, so we were really sold when we could have a two-car garage. We stepped down a couple steps. It's kind of dirty, they're gonna clean. And then you go into the two-car garage where Lewis will have his Lincoln at. And a golf cart. So this is, what the? Storage. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> cabinets. Kitchen cabinets. So they must be storing it for another house. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> what is all of this? Oh, it is kitchen cabinets. They must be using our garage as storage, but we're gonna have a two-car garage, super long, so Lewis will be able to have his Lincoln in here. We're thinking of his Lincoln right here, and this first one, because his Lincoln will probably come about to here. So we'll be able to walk by, and then we're gonna hang storage shelves in here. Now the only difference is we're actually gonna have visible <laughs> 
area of our garage. So we're going to have to keep it nice and clean, which that is our number one goal, this house, is to keep our garage clean. We want to get a golf cart, so we're going to have a golf cart, but we're going to do storage right here just so it's nice and clean and all the Christmas stuff goes up. If we did have an extra refrigerator, which we will not need, it would go here. So we'll probably just do, I don't know, empty space. Another thing we loved about this house was the floor plan. Because we have a lot of kids, and it can be very noisy when you have a lot of kids. So this floor plan has two different staircases. One staircase leads you up here, and one staircase leads you over there, which you'll see in a little bit. This staircase is going to lead to our guest bedroom and my office and the kids' playroom. So, come on up. It's going to be my office. This is going to be where all of the processing magic happens. I have a closet in here, so if we ever need to turn this into another baby's room, and the kids get older and don't want to share a room, they can totally use this as a bedroom, closet, which will probably mean extra stuff, and then this closet's just the uh, HVAC. But I'm thinking rug, wallpaper, so cute. I do have a bathroom in here. Super white, super bright. You'll see everybody and their mom will be able to see my super white, super bright bathroom. Oh, they took the mirror off. There's supposed to be a mirror in here, which we'll look tape for. So I love the windows, the little amichis, and they all have fans in them. Another thing about this house is all of the rooms have the TVs up here, so we don't have to worry about having a long cord. I love how they did attention to detail. Now, this is going to be my office. So a lot of times during the day, Lincoln is with me because Lewis is making phone calls, Lewis is doing this and that and all the things. So Lincoln, nine times out of ten, is with me. So we are going to make this the kids' playroom. It is an all black room, which why the heck doesn't it? <laughs> this is going to be the kids room. I'm gonna take them in there and the little <laughs> It is so cute. Louis and I hardly can walk in it here, show us. <laughs> we can hardly walk in it. But the kids want to start actually vlogging and they want to start actually gaming and doing all of the things. So we really want to make this the kids play area that we can put all of their like toys and we can do like tables where they can have like their TV or not the TVs, their computers and all of that. I just think it'll be very cool to have this like their secret playroom. And then this is just another HVAC. Super cute room. This is just going to be their little hangout. We could even if we wanted to like do beds in here one day if we really wanted to. If we have that many kids. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you come up here, this is going to be our guest room. For all the guests that come, they're going to have this area to hang out, to store their clothes, we're going to put a bed right here, a TV right there, and then it has a closet in it. Make it very inviting, but not too inviting where people want to stay forever. <laughs> Their own bathroom, which I love how it's all white and then it has just this little detail of black. So I'm definitely going, I keep turning the fans on every time I do this. I'm going to continue with that pop of black. That's like my thing lately. So. Very white, very bright. And then a toilet room. All these windows are so nice and then they're covered so you don't have to worry. Towel rack, 
We can just keep all the lights on. So this is gonna be the guest room, my office, and the playroom, very secluded. And now we're gonna go to the other side of the house, which is gonna be my bedroom with Lewis, and ooh, the boys' room and Cassie's room. So let's go. When you walk up the stairs, you'll see this sitting room that we're gonna put two chairs, probably like a little cozy area where we can read books, just have a good time. And this first room is going to be the boys' room. We are going to do triple bunk beds. And you might say, why are you gonna have the boys share a room? And the reason is they're young, they want to share a room, and they want to be close to us. And the only way to make that happen <laughs> especially down here in Florida, is to have them all share rooms. So the boys are going to get triple bunk beds in here. This is their room. You can see they're working on some of the, I don't know what they're doing, but we're going to have bunk beds probably right here or right here. I don't know yet. They have a built-in closet, which is nice because they'll each have a rack for some stuff. They have a window, and then they do have their own bathroom that has a shower in it. Light, bright, perfect shower for the kids. They're gonna do all the things, I don't know. But they put their TV over here, so I'll probably have to put their beds on that wall if their TV's over here, but we haven't talked about TVs in the kids' rooms yet. Then if you continue this way, it's to Cassidy's room. Continue down this way, you will see Cassidy's room. And Cassidy's room is the only technically bath besides our master. So she has this huge space, which hopefully our next baby is a baby girl that can share a room with Cassidy because she's dying to share a room. But we're gonna have Cassidy's bed like this way. If we have another baby, the baby's bed can be right there. A TV and then she has a closet that is perfect for one or two, perfect size. Lots of windows in this room, and then the one bathtub. Lots of white, shower, big tub, vanity. So everything in this house is very white, bright. The fours are gorgeous, so we're gonna add a lot of color, a lot of blacks, but this is the perfect room for Cassidy. And like I said, it's right up from our bedroom, which they all sleep in our bedroom right now because they want to be close to us. So with this being right off our bedroom, we think that they will actually sleep in their room more. They say they will. So if you come in here, this is truly where the magic happens. <laughs> this is Lewis and I's bedroom. It has this super cute chandelier, which I'm obsessed with. We are gonna put like a black, maybe metal bed right here, and then where Lewis is standing, if he wants to do a little switcheroo, where Lewis is standing is going to be where we're going to put a dresser and then put a TV. Well, the TV we have. If you go this way, this is where our closet is. It's a built in closet, lots of room for storage, bags, purses. It's just so cute. We put knobs on these cabinets so we can put like underwear, socks, all my dresses. This is gonna be my side, that's gonna be Lewis's side. And when I mean Lewis's side, like right there, I'm gonna need the bottom one. <laughs> but all of this, look, oops, it goes up so we can put on my shoes. I'm so excited. So this is our closet, we have all this 
cabinet space. We have a window in here, which I really like because it just makes it really light and bright and natural lighting. So if you walk this way, you will see our bathroom. A nice tub that I can jump into. I can have all my baths. <laughs> I'm so excited for all my baths. Oh. A window is in our bathroom, a lot of natural lighting, and then you'll see the vanity areas, which are white and bright and gray, totally different than my, you know, stuff right now. But this is the beach, so this is what everybody likes. This is gonna be Lewis's side. This is going to be where all of Lewis's magic happens. So we have the toilet here, and then you have the shower here. Do a little number, but nice big shower. Oh, at least they made it where it closes really smoother. And then when I shave my legs, do right here. But yeah, that is this side of the house. It's where we're gonna be with the kids. And then when they get older, we can move them to the other side of the house. But we have options, and right now they wanna be close to us. So this is our bedroom, and then I love the ceiling. It's like wood, Marshall. That is our super cute ceiling, and I'm so excited. Y'all have been here for a while now, so I think 